Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to demonstrate about the environment and uh, local environment. So uh, let's start. Uh, we have uh, one uh, service uh, like uh, with the one MQ input node and MQ output nodes. We'll take the uh, request message from client through this node and we'll give the output to from this node, MQ output node. So here we have uh, three compute nodes where we are using the properties like uh, the compute modes we can check here. We have properties like message and in all the uh, three nodes we are using compute mode as message. Generally, uh, local environment and environment uh, is used to set the variables and uh, access the variables value to the uh, throughout the masses flows for both locally and in environment and environment. The main difference is if we don't want to pass the variables or if you don't want to access the variables value throughout the masses flows then we can go for the local environment otherwise we can uh, use the environment variables so this the local environment and environment is the part of the masses tree structure so uh, let's uh, uh, we understand through this masses flow here in this first compute node, we have just set as a local environment as a greetings. In our local environment, output local environment dot variables dot greetings hello world. And another compute node, same, we are just reading the output uh, uh, that the variables value, variables value from the output local environment and creating as a output root dot xml and sc and uh, we are just uh, passing the same input local environment and output local environment and here we are here we are just uh, propagating the same message what we are receiving from the previous compute node Let's understand about the local environment views. We'll pass any test data because already we have set uh, the compute in the MQ input node, the parser we have set as a blob. We didn't set anything means master domain, it will take as a blob. So we'll do one thing, we'll just take as uh, any character we can pass from the input as an input and uh, we'll get as a block in the logical tree structure. We can see here we are getting as a block. But anyhow, we want to uh, just uh, explain about the local environment, environment. So we'll focus on there. Here in this compute node, in the first compute node, we'll go inside that and we are just propagating the same output, uh, same request masses as an output. And we'll set uh, this uh, greeting variable into the local environment. We can see here in the logical tree structure lo lo local environment we have set the greeting variable value hello world. Now
again we'll press initiate the same here we have set uh, the properties as uh, message message in the sense we are uh, going to create a new output uh, message in the message if we will set the compute mode as a message so we are going to create a new output message and the same local environment uh, data will be carried forward to the next consecutive compute nodes or we can access the same in throughout the message flow so come to the debug mode like uh, here we have set only local environment so we are getting the same here also we have set the compute mode as uh, uh, we, we are using uh, the same message so see here it's showing as greeting same hello world and we are passing as blob now we are just uh, created a one xml and sc data it's a greeting and what we are using here but uh, the local environment we are just propagating as it is because we are we are using compute mode as a message in all so in the all compute node will read the same local environment here the data is not passed in this compute node because this is greeting if we will not use this same local environment will passed In the first compute node, we are uh, we are creating a local environments. See here, we are not able to create the local environment. We have written the codes, but it's not carry forward to the next uh, consecutive nodes because we have to set the local environments. We cannot create the local environment this output local environment if we are using compute mode as a message if you want to create then we can use uh, go for the local environment and masses local environment and masses means uh, we can create the output request message and uh, local environment also we can also create and propagate to the next consecutive one okay save and execute again Now we can check see the local environment is uh, processed and it will be available to this compute node C same local environment we can process in all the compute nodes in the masses flow variables dot greeting let us fix this is input local environment we will use it here one more thing I want to explain 
we we are focusing in the tree structure the same local environment is uh, processing uh, in all the compute nodes suppose if you don't want to uh, use that local environment to the next uh, consecutive nodes or we don't want to use throughout the message flow we can just stop in the middle of the flow by using the property or will not use at all like uh, in this compute node local environment and masses in the second compute node we are using this property and inside this compute node we are not using this uh, if we will not write like this so next compute node this uh, the local environment value will not carry forward to the next uh, compute node like compute 2 let's see In the first compute node, we generated the local environment variables. In this compute node, we are not using the local environment, but we have set the compute mode as a local environment and message. So, local environment and message means we need to create the new local environment. It will not take the old local, it will not carry forward the old local environment. So in the after this compute node, once the message will propagate, we cannot see the local environment. See here, we are not able to see. Okay. Yeah. And uh, if we are using output local and and local uh, and uh, a local environment and a message if we uncomment this statement like uh, input local environment and output local environment means this output local environment will act as uh, we are just creating a new local environment we are uh, nothing but we are just copying the input local environment to the output local environment so it will carry forward the same local environment to the next compute node now. Earlier it was not possible. See here. In the compute one, we have used set output local environment equal environment. So now this time it will propagate the same local environment to the next consecutive node means compute two. See here. If we'll comment again that set output local environment and environment, so it will not uh, forward the same lo uh, the local environment to the next consecutive nodes. So that's all about the local environment. And if we talk about the environment, in the environment, if we whatever we'll set, like uh, set environment in place of local environment, we are using an environment. So it will be available throughout the message flow and uh, we can uh, access in any compute node. Suppose here, um, we are reading the environment, just uh, comment this line, save it. In this compute node uh, we are not doing anything but we have to focus on the tree structure environment and for the environment uh, environment has got nothing to do with this compute mode 
this is for local environment message local environment and masses and all let's deploy and see the use of the local environment uh, environment sorry in the first compute node we have set the property of the uh, uh, local environment uh, and variables for the local environment see here environment now once it is initial uh, that uh, variable is initialized in the local environment will be available throughout the message flow uh, here we are not using a local environment but it will be available throughout the message flows till the end of the message flows So uh, that's all about uh, environment and local environment. Please subscribe uh, our TechMart channel and uh, click on the bell icon. Thank you.